Hello everyone, this is Chanda. In this video clip, uh, I and my friend Pooja will cover how to draw control flow graph and data flow graph uh, for six of the systems which are ATM machine, uh, cruise control system in cars, anti-locking braking systems in car, uh, vending machine, online shopping system and automated tool booth. All the six, uh, uh, for all those six, how to draw CFG and DFG will be get covered in this video. Uh, so I will be covering how to draw CFG for all those six systems what have been mentioned. Uh, so firstly, drawing the control flow graph for ATM. Uh, the tool which you can see here in which I have drawn this uh, flow graph is uh, Visual Paradigm. Uh, if you need any detail regarding this tool Visual Paradigm, how to work with this tool or how to draw control flow diagram, data flow diagram or state diagrams or any other uh, uh, diagrams, logical diagrams and all. Uh, so please refer my first video that is the assignment one and that I have covered uh, the working with this tool uh, so for details go through that so coming up with uh, coming on this example uh, which is the ATM system uh, as you can see I have partitioned uh, this into three vertical columns um, of course uh, in a column like this partition is based upon like uh, you can see this first is user than ATM processor machine and the third is the bank database uh, this three like with this by partitioning we are saying that what are their contribution in this complete system on that basis we have divided them uh, so starting up with uh, this is a start node then as 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 you know we uh, when we go to an ATM, we uh, swap the card and enter the password. A similar process here it will be. We swap the card and enter the password. And then this control goes to the ATM machine internal processor. It will, uh, uh, it will check. It will do the security checking. And it will terminate to uh, the database which is stored. It will check the your account details your account number and the password which you have entered is right or wrong uh, all those data can be taken from the bank's database okay uh, then that data then that data it's check it makes the decision of the details of whether the data entered is valid or invalid it will check those things if it's invalid it will again tell you to swap the card and uh, enter the password again uh, if the data is valid you will get an option like uh, to view the balance or withdraw money or transfer the fund according to that if you choose balance check or sorry view the balance uh, it will get terminated to here or uh, if you choose the second option it will go to the second option if you choose third option it will take this third option uh, let's consider that if we choose the first option just of viewing the balance uh, again it will go to the database for checking up uh, it will uh, check the balance it will take uh, the data from the data sheet and it will pop up to the processor and uh, it will it will verify or it will uh, it will process and it will print you your balance okay and in if, if, if it's just your process of doing viewing the balance uh, then getting a getting you the printed your balance you will get a receipt out of uh, with the updated data and you will get terminated and terminated to the end or if you choose the second option that is the withdrawal of money uh, then when you select the, that option uh, it will check to the database again checking up uh, the balance uh, how much is there in your account uh, and what it will do it will check that the amount which you have entered for withdrawal is uh, 
is the amount available in your account or not it will check back for xsl if the if the amount you entered is valid in a valid in the sense that much amount is available in your account then it will do the money transaction okay otherwise if it's invalid you won't get money out invalid in the sense you don't have that much balance in your account this data we are getting from the bank's database and this complete processing or the decision making is done in uh, in the machine's processor okay uh, if 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 you get the money out again the uh, printed receipt you will get with the updated data and you will get the trip to the end termination if the money is uh, not there it will get again terminated to the end of the transaction or then if you choose here the third option that is the transfer fund if you choose the transfer fund option that's here uh, it will again go and uh, uh, in in transfer fund you have uh, uh, entered the account number at which you have to transfer uh, it will go again to the database it will check for the details uh, entered or it will check the account number what you have entered and the amount which you have entered for the transfer if the account number is available for that processing or if not processing those decision or those signal is sent to the processor processor will make uh, the decision whether the uh, account number entered is valid or not valid and valid or invalid in the sense whether the account number is correct or not and plus it will ch also check the amount which you entered which has to be sent to the uh, entered account number whether you have that much amount in your account for transferring or not that's the uh, uh, validation or invalidating the thing of accessing is if it's invalid like something account is wrong or the um, you don't have that much sufficient amount for transfer it will say that the transaction is stopped and you will get terminated to the end end of the transaction if the account detail is right and the amount enter is sufficient that is a valid state it will do the fund transfer and once you did with the fund transfer it will update uh, of course updating work is done uh, by the processor and uh, the updated data will be sent to the bank and uh, bank database okay uh, so, so all those processing and we will get a receipt out once the fund is uh, transferred and at this once you get the receipt out uh, you will get uh, the you will get terminated to end process and again this will go to the startup state like of entering or uh, swapping the card and all uh, so like as you can see this this last stage has an uh, incoming from fund transfer means the successful of fund on all the successful states like fund transfer successfully money transaction like you are getting money out dispatch out or uh, you can see uh, printing of the balance all those are being given to this uh, this this state or this activity called as printed uh, receipt with updated data uh, so this was the uh, working or you can say this was the processing of uh, atm machine uh, ideally goes off and as i said this is assumed for particular one transaction how it can be done okay so this was for the ATM. Now let's move for the second example. Uh, we will take the second example of drawing the CFG for online shopping system. Now uh, again, there are few certain assumptions regarding uh, while uh, drawing those things. Uh, those assumptions uh, were like I will explain. Uh, I will tell while explanation only. What are those assumptions we were reading for the drawing of this so coming up here uh, cfg for online shopping system uh, so as you are very well aware when we uh, how we start up with my start node is the website opener when i open my website i will be asked for two options whether 
you are resisted or you have been not resisted to this site or in, in short like you are logged in you have a valid uh, logged in I, login id for this site or not if yes you have you go with your login details and no further if you don't have uh, registered before then register and then login okay after login uh, the processing goes like this then when you get logged in what is the type of uh, what a type of login this decision making is done like you are a buyer you are a seller or you are an admin for that website okay login details contains all this if i am a buyer uh, it will get processed to this uh, bio uh, like a swing a swing lamp for bio uh, yeah we have partitioned into this four like first is the web page as you can see here the web page what what not all happens at the web page those things and bio i be in a bio then what all activities i can perform is put up in this and as a seller what are my contribution in this system or what what is the operation is put up in this in this room and as an admin or uh, what all accessing power or all what or what all are the activities i can perform have put up in this column or sorry in this row uh, so as i was here after login you as a buyer or as a seller and as an admin if i am a buyer what i will have to do is select the product first uh, sorry search the product first then then i will select the product then i will add that product to the cart uh, then my card in my card all my uh, selected items or the products will be there uh, so here uh, you will get like uh, order details like what and all you have ordered and all all those details you will get and you will have an option for payment you will pay it and you will confirm your order as on the side of buyer you can do this when you are a seller or you are logging as a seller um, uh, you, you have options like uh, uh, i am a seller what are what and all products are available with me i will put up those things i will uh, add update remove or whatever like uh, if someone's order that should get reduced from my uh, list what is visible uh, to the buyer okay whatever the list is visible to the buyer that should get updated so this on all work is done by the seller and uh, uh, at the time of update you have uh, two ways like updated date updated data sh should be uh, given to the seller like on the website it should get updated so it's it is it's get linked here and uh, and and, and the again uh, the same thing display of the product this all all things is done by the seller and if i am logging as an admin then then what and all i i can do is or what are my role of doing in this system is like uh, I have to update the products. Like if someone ordered, then uh, from my uh, list of available product that should get reduced, or I should refill some other details, or so all those things should be updated by the admin. And uh, then for the same update, we have to generate a report. But then next is category. Uh, in category, like uh, you can say, in clothing is there then sports uh, articles are there uh, then kitchen materials you can buy it or, or or any anything like those categories division then including males females then your choices collection and all those things is being updated by category you know, that by admin and then displaying those categories all those work is done by admin and uh, then uh, of course displaying the reports uh, to the seller that uh, sorry to the seller and to the buyer to both of them uh, about the report what it is like what are the updated or what are the updates are being displayed over here uh, once uh, you, you did with this admin has an accessing power for logout or to provide this logout facility uh, so when I'm done with ordering my everything uh, like uh, uh, so I will log out and uh, will terminate by uh, like uh, coming up uh, after log out coming up to the website home page 
दिस इज ऑल कम्प्लीट आइडियल इन अ सिस्टम ऑफ ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग वर्क सॉन अपार्ट फ्रॉम डिस्पैचिंग द प्रोडक्ट and uh, delivering or couriering the thing uh, is, is not been included in this completely online processing system is done again that is the assumption over here that only till you order this is the processing if you have to add up like uh, uh, like uh, you have to say that dispatching and uh, couriering all those things you have to show then what you have to do is that uh, in seller after confirming the order then making an arrow in a uh, seller you have to prepare one your box i can i can i show you here uh, like take one activity um say it is like a dispatching dispatch something uh, and linking up this to dispatch okay and linked this and after dispatch i can say that um, i will take an action that will be an action this is an activity and this is an action i will take an action of couriering i will do the option like courier after dispatch i can do the courier this action i will attach it to the courier okay so this and all work is done on the side of seller an admin will uh, give the updates of uh, tracking tracking of this uh, system like uh, tracking of uh, my order of dispatching and then of couriering all those i can add again here one action or activity here for saying the tracking system i will add an action i will have you like tracking tracking i can do it here tracking of my order which is visible to the buyers also so this was an uh, ideal condition of online shopping system then uh, moving up to the third one uh, you will see is that uh, drawing cfg for vending machine for vending machine uh, so in this i have considered an example Uh, or you can say the vending machine which gives me a uh, mineral water out of okay so this is a vending machine which gives me a uh, mineral water which is cost something say 10 rupees or x rupees mineral water say ideally i have considered here for this example a mineral water of 10 rupees so in each as such i have divided into i have partitioned into three uh, parts uh, which is user this is the machine processing like in uh, the machine processor what happens in the machine processing and then the control center there will be some controlling center for this uh, i have considered by explaining this uh, i will tell what this what what is the working of this um, one more row is okay starting up with the startup mode the first initial thing what we have to do is the insert of the money after inserting of the money the accessing goes for verifying the amount what you have entered or it will count the amount what you have entered then it will make a decision who will make the processor will do all those things the user part finished here not finished but after doing this activity or this action what happens to the processor it will make a decision whether the amount entered is enough Are not enough. If the amount is not enough, it will wait because the condition may occur that if it's of ten rupees, I will first insert five rupees and again the second time five rupees. The first five rupees entered will get verified. It will count. It will see enough. No, not enough. It will wait for inserting the another five rupees. So after wait, it will make again the decision. i will come to this but if it if the amount is enough means 10 rupees only if i insert it then it will uh, again make a decision whether uh, that the entered amount is uh, 10 rupees or uh, something 20 rupees 
like if it's equal to 10 rupees it will dispatch the bottle out if it is greater than 10 rupees let's say 20 rupees or 50 rupees i have inserted it will calculate the amount how much it have inserted and then according to that it will do cash back okay with the cash back uh, it will dispatch uh, oh, sorry it will dispatch the bottle and you can collect the bottle and with that uh, if if uh, if the amount is equal to the ten rupees, it will dispatch the bottle and you can collect the bottle. If the amount is greater, if it's less, it will take this condition. If it is equal or greater, it will go to this decision box. Then, if it is a greater amount, it will give the cash back, and you can collect the money plus you you will uh, get the dispatch of the bottle and you can collect that bottle. Uh, so coming up to this condition where the amount you have entered is not enough if it's not enough it will wait it will wait for uh, for certain duration it will check the insertion of uh, any other coin or not it will wait uh, in wait condition it will check whether the amount is getting inserted or not if the amount is uh, uh, like uh, not getting inserted uh, then what it will do like it will get terminated to collect the money if the amount is not inserted I'm repeating it like if, if, if the amount is not inserted in this uh, uh, this time wait time what it will do it will dis uh, it will give up the money for collection the money which you have inserted first that is the 5 rupee coin which you have inserted it will give you this back here and uh, if yes if I have inserted a coin in this wait time if in, in this wait time if I have inserted the coin then it will go for verifying the amount whether it's again the 5 rupee or not it evaluate how much total amount it has got now it's the 10 rupees now it's yes this is enough this is enough so it's equal or greater again it will make the decision if it's equal it will dispatch the bottle and you can collect the bottle if it is greater you will get the cash back money out and you can collect the money or and the uh, you will get again the dispatch of bottle and you can collect the bottle so this is the ideally uh, working of this uh, so now what the uh, purpose of putting up this row is of the control center uh, in this all process like uh, uh, dispatching of the bottle out of the machine uh, you need some database how much availability uh, availability of uh, uh, bottles you have and how much is being used so for this at every uh, day there will be a, a controlling center which will take the data from dispatch of bottles like how much of bottles has been dispatched uh, so those things will be get updated here with consideration of that number of dispatch bottles how much are available and how much I need to refill into that machine again back those things is done by this control center so that it can refill uh, the uh, bottles in time and uh, on uh, on the uh, the data coming from the dispatch of the bottles you will come to know on a day how much you have collected the money so all those money uh, counting is also done at the end and gets updated of the money how much you have in the machine and you can work on uh, or you can operate those machine accordingly or you can put some changes how much changes uh, change you need to put up uh, in the machine changes means money change like if someone entered uh, 20 rupees and you need to give 10 rupees back how much amount you should keep or how much is the amount in your machine being collected all those detailing is done by this control center so this was the cfg for vending machine now moving towards the fourth example uh, let's take about uh, let's take this anti lock braking system in cars Entry lock braking system in the cars, uh, the working basically been uh, considered in this example is like uh, let's consider uh, your uh, vehicle is uh, uh, normally uh, on a, uh, running on a normal road, smooth road. Uh, let's consider if uh, if my road is very slippy and I'm in a very speed. Uh, so I need 
uh, if, if my wheels are getting slipped so I need to have a brake and I can't have a sudden brake so this uh, anti-lock braking system helps me to have a proper braking at a particular timing when my wheels are being getting slipped off so this is mainly the anti-lock uh, braking system is like so again starting with the startup mode uh, what it will do it will sense the uh, uh, car speed you can say by the fuel flow you can uh, sense the car speed and again uh, sorry by the fuel uh, you can say pressure or something you can uh, sense the speed of the car and then it will sense the rotation of the wheels like uh, like you can say speed of the wheels what are the speed what is the speed of the wheel you can uh, uh, see it by or you can sense it by uh, rotation of the wheels then it will go for the decision making um, here you can see i have divided uh, i have partitioned it into two one is wheel what is the condition of wheel in in my this uh, complete anti lock braking system in cars what is the working of this wheel and what is the working of ehcu it's ehcu which is nothing but electronic hydraulic control unit uh, this is nothing but electronic braking control model which uh, which is made up of like electronic uh, uh, braking control module and plus has a hydraulic unit um, it's, it's 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 for that so this unit is that means completely engine processing work is here so once uh, it will sense the speed of car rotation of the wheels it will make a decision whether my uh, condition is or my state is normal or not normal normal and not normal in the sense like uh, uh, see if my car sp uh, car speed is supposed to say 14 and my wheel speed uh, if my road is rough okay uh, my road is rough if in case so my wheels rotation will get reduced okay so i can see it's something abnormal thing going on my speed is more and my and my uh, my wheels rotations and all and let's consider uh, again the condition of uh, some sleepy roads um my my wheels speed getting more rotation uh, like you can say more rotation of the wheels and then the speed of what the car is uh, so it will take whether the it's normal condition going by verifying the uh, speeds of both of this it will say it's normal or not normal if it's normal it will uh, it will continuously sense it uh, the both the speed of the car and sp uh, the rotation of the wheels it will loop it again and again until unless and until the state is in normal condition if a state becomes not normal like if it's not normal then then the controlling of brakes are needed okay then needs braking like controlling of brakes manually controlling of the brake at this ehcu engine um, acu will try for controlling the speed from its side or from its own side so controlling of brake has been done then we need a sudden brake now at that time what happens in this ad, uh, anti lock braking system uh, what it does is uh, uh, at the wheels it will uh, pressure the brakes it will pressure the brake to make the wheels speed slow down so uh, at the condition what is at wheels is this now slow down the wheels rotation uh, this due to the pressure it tightens the pressure like it, it gives the pressure for the brakes so that the wheels uh, get slowed down once it gets slowed down we have a proper braking now wheels are getting slowed down and i am also having a brake in me uh, in my uh, manual or uh, my ecu is doing that that work uh, so this this is a very proper braking system and the end state is or you can say the end is like of braking you have a brake ha you had a proper brake so uh, this was an ideal anti-lock braking system and cars uh, so moving to the fifth example let's take off uh, drawing cfg for auto automated toll booth uh, in the automated tool, bo uh, tool booth, what happens is uh, you need it's it's completely automatic. Like 
entering uh, at the time of entry at the toll uh, what happens is once uh, once the preceding one uh, once the preceding car uh, uh, is done with its processing of payment and all uh, automatic the gate gets open uh, you entered in the toll area uh, toll booth area and then there is a camera it sends your number plate from the number plate it will generate a bill you have to pay the bill once the bill get paid the second gate which is front gate uh, for your existing the toll booth uh, the gate automatically gets open so so this ideal state is been uh, drawn in control flow graph style so uh, i have considered the two partition gate and booth like what happens at the gate or what are the gate condition at the various states and the booth what uh, what happens at the booth toll booth like in that uh, you can say a shed in that shed what happens uh, like uh, we will see that again uh, starting with the start node then uh, we are considering that the previous car have done all those procedure and went off and it have just started uh, it, it has went off and a gate opens for the car to enter from the first gate first gate in the sense the entry for the toll booth okay once you get entered camera will sense the number plate it will generate the toll amount like how much amount you have to pay once you get you will get the billing out and you have to pay uh for those things it will generate the toll amount uh how much you have to pay it will uh, bill out uh and you have to pay for that after paying automatically uh, the front a uh, gate will get open once you leave it will get again close and the again the first gate will open which is which was your the first entry gate and this was the exit exit gate of the toll booth and once it get closed it will open the first gate of entry to the toll booth and with this vehicle moves off uh, the vehicle which was uh, going which was paying it will pay the gate with the gate will get open the vehicle will go gate will get closed once the gate get closed the first gate will open for the other vehicle to enter again the camera will sense the number plate and again this process will go on okay now uh, moving towards the last control flow graph uh, drawing let's consider is of cruise control uh so this cruise uh, cruise control sorry this cruise control system in cars uh ideally what happens is you set a particular speed for your car let's say i'm uh, setting up the speed for my car is 60 uh so my vehicle should continuously go on that 60 speed only so in this cruise control what what will happen is i will set firstly a speed that is ideal 60 uh, it should not get increased than 60 sorry for this again and again pop ups okay uh, it will get uh, set to 60 as a speed so that about the speed uh, my vehicle should not move uh so this is a while a while while explaining this i will tell you how this cruise control happens in car system so again with this start initial node uh then you have to first uh, yeah uh, before that uh, this this i have partitioned into two one is in the driver and the vehicle ecu what happens to the condition of ecu and what are the uh, role of a driver in this system okay and the role of vehicle uh, ecu in this complete cruise control system okay so the initial load for the initial load uh, first of all driver have to set a particular speed let's say f x sorry let's say x speed then 
the ECU at the side of engine what it will do it will sense the speed of the car or you can say by the rotation of the wheels you can uh, uh, identify the speed of the or you can sense the speed of the car okay once you sense what you have to do uh, if the driver uh, if there is a change in speed if driver changes the speed what it will do is control and will limit uh, to the speed setup which is your x let's say x speed if if it's exceed, exceeds the speed more than x it will limit it to x only okay it will do ideally then with this what happens we will get a constant speed of 60 unless and until there is one particular in a interruption like if it's in a constant speed a state will come of making a decision and the decision for if I applied a brake if I applied a brake uh, uh, if, if say like what will happen in that condition if I haven't applied the uh, brake then what happened I'm going with a, con a constant speed and uh, I, w I will uh, be having a state like if I applied a brake and if I don't apply the brake if I don't apply the brake it will work again with the same process it will sense the speed of the car it will change the speed if the uh, speed is get changed it will again control it to the limiting speed then again I will get a constant speed it will do continuously if I don't I, if I haven't applied any brake if I have applied a brake then again I will have to make a decision whether I apply the brake for my destination is arrived for that or for certain uh, interruption of certain in my driving I, I, I came across so I have to have a brake for any interruption I had a brake or for my destination is arrived if my destination is arrived that's why I have uh, I had a brake then it will get terminated uh, to be stopping the wheels rotation or you can say the ECU gets off if my destination is not arrived what you have to do is again you have to set a speed once you did a brake once you applied a brake you can you have to again uh, uh, set up the speed for what you want so again this process goes it will again sense the speed of the car then if it any changes occurs it will control uh, to the speed of uh, to the speed setup and then constant speed again it will check for whether the brake is applied if brake is not applied again the cycles are continued if not uh, if the brake is applied then for which condition the brake is applied for the destination arrived that's why if it's so then it's get uh, terminated or your vehicles get stopped uh, otherwise if no due to some um, hurdles you have uh, had a break then again you have to set up the speed constant speed at what you have to go and then again the, uh, it will sense the speed of the car this goes on so uh, this was the uh, working of like a uh, so not working but uh, control flow graph for all of the six uh, uh, systems so for any more details as i said how to work with this tool and all you please refer to the uh, video uh, as an assignment one of my in that uh, i have explained how to draw cfg and all how to take all those icons or you can say these are called as activities decision making blocks how to connect and what are this uh, this partitions what are these partitions i'm doing for for what i'm doing this partitions and what does this partition means all those things are covered in that video this was just a drawing or a controlling flow uh, showing off uh, the various systems so this uh, so this was uh, all uh, control flow graphs uh, next coming up is like uh, drawing the data flow graph uh, which will be as as i said which will be get covered uh, by my uh, colleague puja uh, she will uh, tell you how to work with this uh, or like how to draw uh, dfg for the same uh, systems so over to her thank you hello friends i am puja 
In this video, I am going to explain you the data flow graph for six system which is previously described by Chanda. Let's see about the ATM system. In that ATM system, I assume that user one user uh, withdraw the money from his account. So first, uh, what he did, swap the card and enter the PIN. After swapping the card, and uh, its uh, system verify the card. And after verification uh, completed, uh, it check for the account from the bank server database, and accept the info. And it's after accepting info, it's ready uh, to show uh, ready the um, for the entering the amount. And after entering the amount information, it's asked for the transaction. Then we have to select the particular model of the transaction then system start processing after completion of the uh, process it's update the database and account detail and the updated amount uh, print printed um, and then after that we have to collect the money from the money slot and exit the system after that bank server send the text to the user user next example for the vending machine in this vending machine customer first select the product after that uh, from the money slot we have to enter the money after entering the money he accept the system accept the coins and calculate the total based on the um, product uh, product price and that uh, display the product on a screen and then receive the product and uh, change uh, from the money slot this is the uh, vendor machine example so the next mm -hmm. example is online shopping system in this online shopping system I assume the uh, one site that is Amazon online shopping in that customer visit first visit to the site after that visit the site view the products and compare with the other online shopping site after that if user want to purchase a product then login to the system in that login system uh, we have to fill the purchase form that uh, based on the uh, detail of the user that uh, name address um, and mobile number after that select the particular product and give the order after confirm confirmation of the order the this uh, screen display the uh, make a payment and here is a different mode for the payment that cash on delivery debit card net net banking and all that you have to select among from them uh, among from them and then display the order detail after the uh, payment um, completion display the order detail on the screen and place the order and log out the system this is the online shopping system and the, this is a particular diagram of a data flow diagram of the online next example is automated toll booth in that first in this toll entry the entering entry gate and the exit gate is there in between the car is enter and then uh, this process is continue so how is uh, data flow uh, of this uh, system uh, we will see by this uh, graph first car enter to into the entry gate after that camera um, camera sends the uh, number plate of this particular um, vehicle after the sensing the number plate toll booth counter in the toll booth counter we have a bill is uh, generated after the bill generated we have a bill is paid um, we have to pay the bill after the paying then system after the paying the bill is open the exit gate and from the exit gate car uh, car um, go from that exit gate and um, the, after the car 
left from that uh, particular uh, time slot that exit gate get closed and uh, free to open the entry gate this is the uh, automated tool booth system next example is the at anti locking braking system in car in that system this system is basically the four wheel security system which is used to prevent the wheel uh, lock up by the controlling the pressure in the brake line during an emergency in that system first sense the car speed uh, through the speedometer after the sensing the uh, sensing the car speed sense the wheel rotation uh, wheels rotation and after the wheel rotation it check for the condition uh, it's uh, if the speed is abnormal then need to controlling the braking system for that adjusting the brake um, brake pressure by ehcu after controlling the uh, pressure of uh, pressure then sp uh, speed is controlling and slow down speed is con uh, controlled by this escu system and after a uh, speed controlling the speed get slow down the rotation and this um, rotation and this uh, wheel uh, vehicle speed and the wheel speed is calculating uh, determined by the speed sensor after the after that this uh, we have to apply the proper brakes and uh, we have to prevent this um, car from the sleeping uh, sleep, uh, from the sleep and then stop the system the last example is cruise control system in car this system allow the driver to set the vehicle speed and when this control is activated the speed of the vehicle is maintained automatically without touching the accelerator pedal for that first start the system set the speed data say then um, after setting the speed data it sends the speed of the car through the sensors after the sensors allow the vehicle to change a speed and for the allow changing the speed controlling which uh, limits the change of the speed to x means hold the vehicle speed at the selected value that is um, this is a, x is the selected value after that um, the constant uh, speed deactivated the control immediately after the brakes are applied after brakes are applied deactivate the control immediately after that destination arrived after destination arrived store the last set or set of speed and stop the engine and car for the safety feature this is a cruise control system in car to prevent from the accident 